Over the past few decades, Godzilla has filled his rogue gallery with all sorts of killer enemies that have managed to give the kaiju a hard time. Among these rivals, Ghidorah stands out as one of his most popular opponents, and he has appeared in a plethora of Godzilla films and series alike. To make things interesting, Toho Productions experimented with his character and introduced a mechanical variant named Mecha King Ghidorah. He first appeared in the 1991 film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, and today we shall explore every last thing about this mechanical monster. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. Tracing the origin and evolution of Ghidorah to Mecha King Ghidorah. Also known as Monster Zero, King Ghidorah was a three-headed dragon kaiju who had been a part of the Godzilla lore since his first appearance in 1964. After numerous face-offs, Godzilla defeated Ghidorah for good during a battle in 1992, and the three-headed dragon's middle head and wings were ripped apart from his body. While this left no scope for a comeback, advanced technology from the year 2204 made it possible to revive Ghidorah and cybernetically modify his body to give life to Mecha King Ghidorah. After replacing his missing head and wings with cybernetic implants, Ami Kano piloted him and used time-traveling technology to take him to Tokyo in 1992 to face Godzilla. Over time, Mecha King Ghidorah has evolved with every new release, and he has entirely different origins in Godzilla Rulers of Earth. Here, Mecha Ghidorah was a product of the Cyrog aliens who had stumbled across King Ghidorah's comatose body. The Cyrogs sent a monster named Gigan to sever Ghidorah's central head and then fitted a new mechanical one in its place. Besides this, they enhanced his body with cybernetic implants and fixed his broken wings and limbs. Again, Godzilla Oblivion revamped Mecha King Ghidorah's origins, and he was brought into existence by Dr. Eli Talbert in the wake of Ghidorah's defeat against Godzilla. To prevent Ghidorah from succumbing to his wounds, they replaced his injured body parts with implants in a last-ditch attempt to defeat Godzilla. Finally, Godzilla Unleashed went back to the original Mecha King Ghidorah's roots and established that he came from a future timeline. Strangely, the original King Ghidorah coexists in this story arc at the same time. As the story unfolds, we learn that an Earth Defender has defeated Ghidorah and sent him to the present, where the Global Defense Force turned him into a mechanical monster. While going back and forth in time, they created a phenomenon where Ghidorah and his futuristic mechanical self could coexist simultaneously. The Menacing Saga of Mecha King Ghidorah. While Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah focused on the legendary battles between the two monsters, it also marked the beginning of Mecha King Ghidorah's terror. The film revolved around a bunch of Futurians who had traveled to the past to trigger King Ghidorah's creation in the hopes that he would manage to defeat Godzilla. As the story progressed, Godzilla decapitated Ghidorah and turned his attention towards Japan. To deal with Godzilla, one of the Futurians named Emi Kano devised a solution to revive the three-headed monster in the future and bring him back to the past. Emi returned to her time to construct Mecha King Ghidorah and soon returned to the past to unleash him against Godzilla. Emi had total control over this mechanical monster, who materialized from pulsing energy and struck Godzilla with gravity and laser beams. However, Godzilla soon destroyed Mecha King Ghidorah's newly fitted wings and sent him crashing into some buildings. All this while, Emi tried to overpower Godzilla and instructed Mecha King Ghidorah to use his energy-powered cables to capture Godzilla. While this worked for a while, Godzilla decided to use his most lethal weapon and fired his atomic breath at Mecha King Ghidorah, who came crashing down. While Emi managed to get away, both the monsters crashed to the bottom of the seafloor, where Mecha King Ghidorah somehow managed to keep Godzilla trapped within his clutches. As the movie came to an end, Godzilla wrestled his way out of the cables by setting them ablaze with atomic breath and Mecha King Ghidorah finally accepted his defeat. Soon after, he returned in the 1993 Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2 film, where Mecha King Ghidorah's mechanical middle head was used to construct Mecha Godzilla with the help of 23rd century technology. While Mecha King Ghidorah did not play a big role in this film, he made a grand comeback in the 1997 sci-fi television show Godzilla Island. The show revolved around an evil zillion known as Zagreth, 
who would often face defeat against the residents of Godzilla Island. While Zagreth's plans for universal domination fell through, she came across a monster vending machine that allowed her to purchase any monster. Zagreth chose Mecha King Ghidorah and sent him to Godzilla Island in the hopes that he would defeat Godzilla. However, she soon realizes that the mechanical Ghidorah needs someone to pilot him and that he cannot act on any orders on his own. Meanwhile, Godzilla knocked him over and Torema and Beskei Jinguji then decided to use Zagreth's weapon against her. They commanded Mecha King Ghidorah to attack Zagreth's ship and their plan worked well for a while until Zagreth managed to summon him back with the help of a tractor beam. She tries to conquer Godzilla Island again with Mecha King Ghidorah's help as the island's resident monsters defeat them every single time. After a few defeats, Zagreth again uses the monster vending machine to purchase an upgraded Hyper Mecha King Ghidorah, world destroying powers and abilities of Mecha King Ghidorah. To begin with, Mecha King Ghidorah's body was fitted with capture cables and a machine hand restraint that was powerful enough to capture the mighty Godzilla. This hand restraint could also discharge electricity and shock anyone who comes in contact with it, and his hand was not the only body part with modifications. In the Atara slash Pipeline video games, he could fire energy lasers from his torso, and this laser beam was powerful enough to drain the opponent's energy. Besides firing lasers, he could also create a protective barrier around him and become immune to any energy attacks thrown his way. Typically, all versions of Mecha King Ghidorah can fly with the help of inbuilt anti-gravity devices. In this way, he did not need his wings to fly and could continue to hover in the air even when they were injured. He can also fire yellow gravity beams from his left and right heads, while his central head can fire a powerful laser triple beam. These laser beams change colors as they hit their target and would go from a bluish white to purple and red before finally turning green. In some shows, Mecha King Ghidorah could fire triple beams from all his heads, while some versions replace this beam with a fireball. For instance, Mecha King Ghidorah from the GBA video game Godzilla Domination could fire orange fireballs from his left and right heads, while his central head could fire green fireballs and energy spheres capable of burning Godzilla's thick hide. In Godzilla Save the Earth, Mecha King Ghidorah was shown to be invincible, and any attacks directed his way would end up targeting the aggressor. He could also teleport in the 1993 arcade game Godzilla, and he had an inbuilt time machine that helped him perform time warps and travel all the way from 2204 to 1992 in the blink of an eye. Comparing Mecha King Ghidorah to other Mecha Kaiju. In the extensive history of the Godzilla franchise, there have been several mechanical monsters who have appeared alongside Mecha King Ghidorah. To begin with, Mecha Godzilla was a pretty popular variant of the titular kaiju, and he first appeared in the 1974 film where he was created by aliens to destroy Godzilla. Across his story arc, Mecha Godzilla has often appeared in new forms to fight against his organic self, which makes him a lot like Mecha King Ghidorah in terms of the purpose they served. Interestingly, the second iteration of Mecha Godzilla was created from the remains of Mecha King Ghidorah by using reverse engineering technology, and the two shared some features. While Mecha King Ghidorah was the result of time travel and advanced technology, Mecha Godzilla was an attempt by faraway aliens to eradicate Godzilla and establish its supremacy on Earth. The two greatly differed in their abilities, and Mecha Godzilla certainly had a far more powerful arsenal of weapons. He had beam weapons inspired by Godzilla's atomic breath and could fire several laser beams such as space beams, cross attack beams, and mega buster beams that could completely eradicate one's opponents. In comparison, Mecha King Ghidorah only had his fireballs and triple laser beams to defend himself. In some scenarios, Mecha Godzilla also had missiles and rockets fitted onto his body and an armor plating that protected him from external attacks. In contrast, Mecha King Ghidorah had an anti-gravity device, mechanical arms, and powerful cables attached to his body, and he could conjure a defensive shield in moments of danger. A key difference between the two mecha monsters lies in the fact that Mecha Godzilla was equipped with artificial intelligence and he displayed some serious critical thinking skills that Mecha King Ghidorah seemed to lack. At the end of the day, these two monsters were created with the same intention, so they did not end up fighting against each other but served as weapons of destruction for humans and aliens. Mecha King Ghidorah can also be compared to McKinney Kong who is also commonly referred to as Robot Kong. This robotic version of King Kong was often seen working in cahoots with Mecha Godzilla in the crossover story arcs, and he hails from an entirely different universe than Mecha King Ghidorah. Mecha Kong also varies greatly in terms of his appearance across his story arc. 
where he was first introduced as Doctor Who's creation. He had a bulky brown body with two squares that resembled his eyes and was essentially a machine under Doctor Who's control. He later appeared in King Kong Escapes with a metallic gray body, which was more mechanical in nature, and had visible screws and bolts near his joints. In terms of abilities, Mecha King Ghidorah was certainly more gifted and had an array of laser beams and fireballs at his disposal, while all Mecha Kong had was his brute strength and a utility belt full of grenades. Mecha Kong did stand out due to his hypnotic eyes, which appeared in the form of powerful light bulbs on top of his head and emitted high frequency beams capable of hypnotizing his opponent. While it is tough to predict who might emerge victorious if these Mecha Kaiju were pitted against each other, we certainly know that it would be quite an interesting face-off packed with punches and energy blast attacks. Mind-blowing appearance of Mecha King Ghidorah in other forms of media. Besides appearing in films and animated series, Mecha King Ghidorah appeared as an integral character in Godzilla video games, novels, series. To begin with, he appeared in the 1993 video game Super Godzilla, where an alien species stumble across Ghidorah's body and use it to create a mechanical kaiju who fights against Godzilla and Super Godzilla. He later appeared in Godzilla Domination as one of the final villains that the players had to defeat in order to attain victory. This version of Mecha King Ghidorah wields immense power and the only way to kill him is by smashing his head and hitting the flashing point in his body before he strikes back. He appears as a playable character in Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee and PlayStation 4's Godzilla game. This game includes a God of Destruction mode where the player has to step into Mecha King Ghidorah's shoes and defend multiple cities from Godzilla's attack. He played a crucial role in Godzilla Save the Earth, where he is a near-invincible monster who can paralyze his opponents with laser attacks, protect himself with an energy shield, and even fire three gravity beams at once. He later appears in Godzilla Unleashed Comics, where the defense forces rely on him to defend Earth from a Vortok invasion. Mecha King Ghidorah has also appeared in the 1998 novel Godzilla vs. the Robot Monsters, as well as several comic series. Some of his notable appearances were in comics such as Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, Godzilla, Monsters and Protectors, and Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2. In the 2014 Godzilla Rulers of the Earth series, the Cyrog had gotten their hands on Ghidorah's corpse and repurposed it to create Mecha King Ghidorah. They used him to fight Godzilla, and he soon joined hands with Mechagodzilla to bring the titular kaiju down. In the 2016 comic series titled Godzilla Oblivion, Mecha King Ghidorah's corpse was retrieved by Dr. Eli Talbert in the hopes that he would help them defeat Godzilla. Dr. Eli redid his body and fitted him with new mechanical parts, and he came back to life to find that the people of Earth 2 had sent interdimensional monsters to attack Earth. Mecha King Ghidorah then shot a laser beam at Mothra, but was soon defeated by the combined efforts of Godzilla, Mothra, and Anguirus. Marvelous Verdict To wrap things up, Toho Productions inarguably made a good decision by experimenting with Ghidorah's character and bringing Mecha King Ghidorah to life. He proved to be quite a menace, and while he has fewer appearances as compared to his organic counterpart, he certainly did stir up a whole lot of trouble for Godzilla every now and then. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.